Okay, so either there is a monkey in the tunnel or there's a huge baboon on the roof of my house. Diego, this is my pizza. Let's see if Diego wants to smell it. Come, Diego. Smell it. What do you think? You want it? Oh, uh. Yeah, it's a nice pizza. Yeah, these monkeys are just swinging around here. They've got a nice big cage. It's high. And they are just enjoying their toys. Just look at that. There he goes. He's just waiting for something to happen. Well, I don't really want to get too many animals. I mean, I have to look after them. It's a lot of work, but I am really thinking that a peacock could be something really nice to have around. And they're quite big. I mean, if you can keep chickens, you can keep a peacock. And I don't think there's a problem with cats that would want to get hold of them. Except, well, the tigers, of course, but He's not going to go there, he's going to hang out in the house. Yeah, something to think about. Yeah, he's still just hanging around there, he's eating something. Well, these little white ear marmosets. That little one there has got little ones and they are really tiny, just look at that. Yeah, they're really tiny, right on their mother's back. And they've got tails like kittens. Just look at that. Stripes and everything. And he's just having a banana over here. Now these monkeys are really clever. What they do, he hands you stuff. He was handing us uh, feathers just now a few seconds ago and then yeah he just gets you into that mode where you want to give him something and if you've got something yeah you give it to him <laughs> he's smarter than you think little female just look at her so tiny let me see if I can reach her as well yeah. <laughs> yeah, these macaws, <laughs> yeah, they've got a way of talking. And you want to hang around because you want to hear what words they can say. They always know how to talk. Another macaw just sitting over there, the yellow and blue, absolutely gorgeous. Perfect in every way. Yeah, he, he just came out of a soup on the planet and started growing into that shape. Yeah, right. Okay, please. <laughs> Can you believe that? Here's another little marmoset. There's another one over there. Those kids just caught those monkeys gorillas. <laughs> Can you believe it? And just look at this little one right here. Yeah, well, he's got long legs and a long tail, and he can, I know monkeys, they can grab stuff. So, don't get too close. At least your phone won't go through that, but a part of the phone will. So, <laughs> they're as strong as you can believe. Some birds over here. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, they've got Jackies over here. This is not the tuft, this is the weeper, so I guess this information board here is for whatever is in here. Oh there, yes, yeah. That is the tuft, yes. That's like Arnie. But these are like a duins. <laughs> Little lemurs. Let's look how he sits there. Let's checking everything out. There's one of those big rats again. <laughs> yeah, they are really something. Just look at that. I would really like to have some of these walking around at my house but yeah I guess the dogs are not gonna get along with him so we'll see I think if I can choose one animal to have at the house now it would be a peacock They're absolutely amazing Yeah, this is an ocelot. They're much smaller than tigers. But believe me, I've had the opportunity to hold him for a while. And I don't know if it's this exact one. But I... I know, he bit me on the chin. <laughs> and he didn't bite hard, but you could feel that power. And he's absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. Now, I have heard that people think... That the smaller the big cat, the less dangerous they are. And that's got nothing to do with it. If he gets you at the wrong place, you will bleed. <laughs> that's just a rule of cats. And yeah, I want to get some stripes on his face just to see exactly what he looks like. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. This is an ocelot, and uh, yeah, they are climbers. You will need to close up an enclosure right to the top if you want to keep one of them. Now that's the difference between tigers and other cats. I just I don't know why, but tigers to me is easier to keep. But I don't suggest it. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. This is a beautiful cat. Well, these two are just making a noise. And now that I've recorded them, they are absolutely silent. <coughs> yeah, there it is. Well, this little alligator is just hanging out over there. Yeah, he's got his own little pond here. He's an indoor alligator at the moment. Well, just look at that. Can you believe it? You're not going to get too close to this bucky. I once saw one in Texas. And uh, I'll show you guys what that looked like. It's a little different to this one. <laughs> yeah, I would like to see a standoff between this one and the one I saw in Texas. Okay, so they are busy plastering those walls. They're busy with this place. It's going to take them a while, but it's getting there. As long as you're doing something, then at least it will be done eventually. Sometimes I just turn around and there's cats everywhere. Yeah, there is, well, let's just say quite a lot of them around. But. I don't think there's something like enough cats. I mean, how will you classify enough? <laughs> I think if you can walk through your house without seeing a cat, 
at any spot, then it means you've got enough. Yeah, you should just never not see one. Then <laughs> that will be perfect. I mean, just look at them. <laughs> they are everywhere. <laughs> look at his little face. He's a strange cat, but, but I think he's a little instinct driven at the moment. He reacts different to all kinds of things than all the others. But yeah, Enzo, are you ready to eat? Yeah, let me go and feed him. They will be eating right now. Okay, they are lost it. No cat right there. I guess I need more cats. <laughs> oh no, there was one. He's <laughs> there. Okay, let's make it a rule. If there's for five seconds not a cat, then I need more. And uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, believe me, <laughs> they just keep on going. But I think I can handle a few more. And let's see what happens. I mean, I've still got a Christmas tree on in the middle of the year. So <laughs> why can't I just have more cats? <laughs> Cut us! <laughs> Uh, and they just keep on running around and being everywhere. I have to say that little Dini, he is the softest cat I've seen in my life. He is really so soft. <laughs> Zach, you're no cat. <laughs> but in any case, I have to start feeding the boys vegetarian cat he's got his pellets right there yeah and now it's over to feeding the tigers and the dogs and i haven't even gone outside outside there's more cats so <laughs> yeah let me start feeding them they will be eating in the next few minutes <laughs> yeah Oreo is going to be dead. He's got this little one with him all the time. And they are getting along great. The little one just is not leaving Oreo Diego alone. But, yeah, they're getting along great. And that is just amazing. Little smart events. <laughs> He's just bothering his little friend Orioki Diego. He wants to sleep and little smarty pants is not feeling like sleeping at all. But he likes his friend. He's hanging out with little Orioki Diego the whole day today. Sometimes you've got to water the plants and things and then you just have to watch out that you don't water the dinosaur eggs. I'm not sure really because no one's ever had dinosaur eggs. So they can't really tell me exactly how to treat them. So yeah, I guess you shouldn't water your dinosaur eggs just around them, I suppose. That's it. Well, Ani is just enjoying food again. Oh, and the dog almost... <laughs> no, he didn't get it right. 
there's no way that Arnie will fall down. He's got hands, feet, tail and everything holding on. But the dogs are all around here. They're just hanging out. And we're just waiting. The lease is here. She is quickly playing with the smaller monkeys. Then they will be coming to this side and then I can quickly finish the tunnel. So I hope today the monkeys will be running through the tunnel. They should be able to. <laughs> and they will enjoy it once again. <laughs> These dogs, they are so naughty. <laughs> Just look at them. Honey. Yeah, the monkeys each get a packet of chips. Can you believe it? <laughs> When I'm working, all the dogs are right here with me. So I have to make a decision there. I have to either cut these branches off and lift the tunnel or leave the branches where it's totally wrong. Some of them were growing through the roof, out the roof tiles on the top, on the other side of the gutter. And I cut them yesterday, but I think I should just cut them and start fresh when summer arrives everything will grow real quick again we can get these branches back growing upwards from the other side of the tunnel from the front but yeah let me see how i'm gonna do this with all these dogs around <laughs> okay opening up for the monkeys here they come they're gonna see it for the first time now the tunnel and if you're wondering why these dogs' heads are this high, it's because they're jumping and they can reach really high. <laughs> All the monkeys coming through. We just quickly finished it up. We're not 100% done yet, but... <laughs> yeah, Arnie is just checking it out. They don't realize what has happened here in the last couple of days, but... Yeah, he's just checking it out. Yeah, I think that's a nut that I used to pull that up there tight. <laughs> Bella! Okay, just quickly gonna move around and check what is new. <laughs> at Dwins! He's already coming from this side. He's been through the other end. Chaka! <laughs> yeah, these monkeys. They really enjoy things. Basically anything. <laughs> Twins! I think this is strong enough. These two poles are just suspending that steel channel that's up there. And then it's inside the tunnel, so it's carrying the whole tunnel. Yeah, and then we just basically mold the wire fence into the cage so it just makes an entrance <laughs> and that's it but it's a lot of work this was quite a few days of work but it's done we can improve here and there something small just where the wires are joining up because it is a manual thing that you have to do there's no automatic way of just putting a machine on it and it bends it in there you have to take the pliers and bend those wires straight over it and it takes time <laughs> they're gonna enjoy it the most important part is we need to know that there's no holes no monkey exiting anywhere if they're not supposed to but they don't I think we've managed to close up all the holes. Now it will just be a question of improving it. And they can enjoy it.
Well, that's it. Now I have to go and get some food ready for the other animals. Just want to see what little <laughs> Bella was doing right there now. She just got a fright there from the other side. That's it, right. Everything seems to be pretty fine. I think they will enjoy it. And uh, pressure is off. Now they can just enjoy it while I plan how to make it a little better even from here. Yeah, let me go. Time to get the food ready for the tigers. It never ends. That's one thing that you can count on if you've got a zoo house. Is it's never going to end. <laughs> now look at, he just reached into <laughs> the gutter there and pulled out a bunch of dirty leaves. <laughs> we did clean it up, but it, apparently it's not clean enough according to Chaka. And the tunnel is so big that Bella can actually carry well, twigs and stuff around. Oh no, this is glowy. <laughs> Here comes little Bella. Ani. She found a piece of wire that we didn't tie yet. That's okay. But she has not taken it out yet. But she's checking every little thing. Yeah, those nuts should just stay fastened. That's what's carrying most of the load. But it's working perfectly. I was going to weld it. But welding in a tensile force, I don't really trust it. Especially if it's going to be there for a couple of years. And even if your welding is good, it can easily tear out right where it mounts next to the welding. Moon is right there. And I still have to put a mount on this part, support it to the cage itself, just to carry it. Although that beam is carrying the tunnel. So it's not really necessary, but I would like to just get it secured and we have to put a gate in on this spot as well but that we will do next week I think we've done enough for this week well on the cage at least but there's a lot more to be done <laughs> but we will do it as time goes by well guys that's it thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it and like always, have a good day. Okay, so we've got a problem here. We've got Bobby, Buck, and Father Cat right here. And then of course, we've got little Katya here as well. But the problem is, they might fight. And, well, I don't want them to chase each other away. So, there they are. I'm going to watch them. And uh, we'll see what we can do to stop them from fighting if they shoot. They just don't know that I am armed with a hose pipe with water from here. So, they better just get along. I don't think they are. Because they are not fighting. We'll just see. Let's take a while, give him a few minutes. Zach and Sachi is just checking on the dinosaur eggs. Are any hatched yet? No, not even one. Katya will also be keeping an eye on them. Zach! <laughs> oh, and today is black and white cat day, because here is the cutest cat in the world. <laughs> yeah. 
Do something cute, little cutest cat in the world. Let's see that. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't even have to do anything to be cutest cat in the world. Diego is still sleeping over there. And Enzo is walking around. And I'm quite happy because we've got the monkey cage done. So the tunnel is up and it's, it's got monkeys in it. And then you know that it is perfect. And a monkey that does not find a hole won't find one after 10 minutes. They find it immediately. They are like little hole finders in a tunnel or a cage. <laughs> but yeah, as we get around to getting the tigers food ready, they will be eating, but I'm feeding them a little less because I think they are just not feeling like eating that much these days. So I think they're only going to get two chickens each tonight and they should be just happy with that. Yeah, let me get to that. They will be eating within the next half an hour. Maybe a little longer. We'll just see. <laughs> Enzo Key! Yeah, Enzo is still taking a walk. <laughs> he enjoys taking his walks. And Diego, well, he is still sleeping. But yeah, that's it for today. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And like always, have a great day.